The following program may contain strong language. All of the comments and opinions expressed do not reflect the views of anyone but those making said comments. If you decide to continue listening to this program, it is assumed that you are not easily offended and have a broad sense of humor. Not at all that's out of the way. Enjoy! Okay. Welcome, everyone, to another glorious episode. Glorious! Of the one and all. Glorious! Mike and Billy Show. Hello! Episode number 10. 10, the perfect 10. The big X. Yes. Wow. See what I did there? Did you really do the big X? I did the big the, X and with, I actually held my cross? hands up. Uh, an X. Wow. An nope. X. <laughs> you, you, are the, you are the least straight edge person I know. Yeah. Kind you, of. You, what? You, you know, yeah. you enjoy your drinks. Get a little bit your of a pops at the back. A little bit of a curved edge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is Mike Went. Billy Finnegan here. And uh, welcome, like I said, welcome. How you doing? I'm doing well. This is number 10. I didn't even think we were going to make it past four. I didn't think one was going to be a, a success. <laughs> I mean, by success, at least someone's listening. That's what I, you mean. I, no, no, I don't even mean that. I mean me actually sitting down and uploading it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I thought I would have lost interest literally 20 minutes after we finished the first episode. I uh, I went back and listened to the first episode, and I lost uh, I, I lost a lot of um, don't patience. say that because we want people to go back no. and listen. <laughs> <laughs> you still can. No, no, it was a, it's still. I mean, I have it on my phone every now and then. I turn like you know nothing's you on the, the radio. Yeah, my we you know my green. youth, my youth <laughs> two months ago or whatever it was three months ago. We were wet behind the ears, <laughs> just finding our groove. And, and now, now we're, we're just, ten episodes in. This is old fucking hat. Yeah, I don't even want to do this. We're all veterans. We're gonna. This is the last episode of the Mike Mike and Billy show. So you better listen. (laughs) Listen up, bitches. Um, Yeah, very cool. Very good. It's it's funny because what I find is is uh, I feel like I talk to you less and less now that we're doing this. Well, because despite the the little random you know shitting on movies yeah. via text and stuff. Yeah, and and the Facebook messages and uh, Monday Night Raw tweetings and uh, right. And all those other things. Well, because I want to... I want to Keep it fresh? I want to keep it fresh. I want to save myself oh, for you, Mike, you every save week. Myself, <laughs> save yourself for me? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah, you know. No, I, but my and my schedule sucks. I very rarely see it Join around here anyway. So uh, at least at least we're both earning those experience dollars. Yes. And we still get to come here and just relax and, and hang out with you wonderful people who are it listening online. It is. It's like our online. weekly therapy session. Yeah, it is. Because I finally get to sit here and just, just let it all out. Yes. And then afterwards, I just go home and cry. You have a good cry? Yeah, I have a good cry. S- put on Snu- Snuggle up. Yeah. I put on a like nice the, warm robe and yeah. blankie. And I put on the, like, the Sound of Music or Hoosiers go. or something like that. A little Nor- Nora Jones. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Happy pills. Yes. So, uh, so how's your week been? Week's been good. Yeah. Very busy. Oh. Yes. Working all around the good place. Good busy or work busy? They're both kind of the same. Not really. Well, yeah. It's all good. Oh, I wish I had your life then. Wow. Well, <laughs> as long as you're making money, it's good. How, how's, how's by you? Uh, not terrible. Now, I, I noticed that on Facebook the other day, mm-hmm. you know, because we are all on the Facebooks. Yep. It posted something about um, Best Buy. Oh, yeah, that was last night. Oh, it was yeah. Okay, it was so it was yeah. Night. So it was this morning. See, that's the only bad thing about my work schedule is that every day blends the into days each just other. Blend into so, each other. So I, I think it was last week, but yeah. Um, just another, uh, another glow, fun-filled day. Glowing at, reason why I should not interact with anybody outside of my home. <laughs> why? At well, all. Could, I mean, look. Because I know how the, bad it could get, but uh, well, well it's, it's how could it get any worse than normal? Um, it's just. Here, here's what it is. You love all people. Here's what it is. I do. I do. I'm a, I'm a people person. <laughs> uh, but here's what it is. Uh, <laughs> God, it's so infuriating. I, I'm trying to put the Go words ahead. out. I, you know what? I, people I hear... that don't know their job. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now, I don't begrudge anybody for working. Okay? No. Make that money. Of course. But... If you don't know your fucking job Uh-oh. and somebody calls you on it, Uh-oh. accept that responsibility. 
Yeah, but no one wants to accept responsibility. Nobody wants to accept days. responsibility. And here's what happened. Um, last night, uh, I realized that Best Buy started their uh, upgrade and save promotion again. Upgrade and save as in? They run it every uh, every few months. They run it. Right. And what it is is you bring in an old DVD, mm -hmm. and they give you a $5 coupon that you can use on a Blu-ray for uh, nine ninety nine or, or up. Okay. So you basically, if you get a ten dollar Blu-ray, you can get it for five bucks. Cool. Okay. And I use that because my DVD collection is is large, and uh, and I use it to sometimes trade out, upgrade, if you will. Right. Upgrade from DVD to the Blu-ray. Ah. Uh. That's what I use it for because I can't justify upgrading a tw you know for twenty dollars, but if I take the old DVD, bring it in, and yep. upgrade for five bucks, that's okay. I can I can justify now, that. Now, do you usually buy the same movie when you do this? Usually. Okay. So, sometimes. Okay. But sometimes I try to get stuff I don't have. Last night was such a case, and uh, I've been uh, I've been waiting because I like the movie, but again, money is what it is. Mm -hmm. So I got to mm -hmm. justify mm -hmm. my spending. Of course. And uh, it's, a, it's you know it's it's a recession. The 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 movie in question was Get the Gringo. Uh, it was the oh Mel, Mel Gibson. Gibson. Yeah. Mel Gibson made it uh, uh, probably a year ago. Yep. And um, great flick. I mean, it's, uh, it's, I, not, it's I, not gonna go down in his, you know, when he gets his lifetime achievement right, it's award. it's not Mad Max. Yeah, it's, it's not, not gonna be played it's not at the Oscars. Weapon. Absolutely not. It's not Payback. Great one. It's not even Lethal Weapon But it's 4. in the vein of Payback. It's okay. in the vein of Payback where it's that gritty, is it as as, anti-hero crime thing. Is it as good as What Women Want? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. That's, that's a tough <laughs> sell. Because him and Helen Hunt, uh, it's in a romantic comedy, that's that's magic. That, that, uh, that is America's Sweethearts. That is magic. An Australian and a woman who can't act. <laughs> but, uh, so I've been waiting for it to go on sale because it's been, I think it's had like a $25 price tag okay. for a while. And again, couldn't justify it, especially since it's on Netflix. Yeah. But they dropped down to ten dollars last night, with the coupon. I got it for five. Mm. That's completely justifiable. Absolutely. Get up to the counter, and and mind you, I was I was at work before I went over there, so I did all my research and I picked out the, the DVDs that I wanted, so I could walk in, much like when I do my Christmas shopping, walk in, pick up what I want, get the fuck out, as limited no questions contact asked. with the outside world later. as possible. If Best Buy uh, offered a uh, you know, check out mm. yourself. Check out yourself. Oh, it'll be oh beautiful. my God. It'll be beautiful. A CVS has one. It'll it's be great. wonderful. I don't have to deal with um, anyone. And, and it's really, <laughs> uh, DVDs and Blu-rays are really the only thing I don't do, like, online shopping for because I, I'm very instant gratification. Like, if I want to see a movie, I want to see it now. I don't want to wait for the fucking shipping and all that shit. Of course. Who the hell and, would do um, that? There's plenty of movies places around. Like, you, know, you can get movies anywhere. Yeah. Why would you ever buy them online? Exactly. Um, and you can't take advantage of the promotion, the, the five dollar coupon online. Absolutely. So you have to actually go into the store. You have to deal with the people. Here's the problem I have, <laughs> and this falls on Best Buy as, as a as a I company. I can see the blood going to your head this right now. This <laughs> falls on Best Buy as a company. Yeah, they don't train their people in their promotions. They have a complete. Lack of knowledge right. of products mm -hmm. and promotions. Yeah, it's every just... time. And like I said, they've been running this promotion for years. Every few months, it comes around, mm -hmm. and I take advantage of it because, like I said, I don't need to go back into it. Um, <laughs> but every time I walk into the fucking store, yeah, I hand them the goddamn DVDs. I say, I like the upgrade and save coupon. A sea of dumbfounded faces, like I had just whipped my cock out and wiggled it in their face and go, <laughs> "Give me some money." <laughs> it's it, not like that at all. It would be the the look I get is as absurd. <laughs> okay, as absurd. Wow, and, it, and this is some real dumb people. I went so far, uh, not the last time, but uh, it, they were running it back in October. Yeah, and I was basically called a liar mm -hmm. by by a customer service rep. Mm -hmm. I was sitting at the counter, had my DVDs, had no fucking clue, had how, never heard. And how of old this. was this customer service? He was Fifteen, late twenties, early thirties. He's a <laughs> He was somebody who should have at least, you know, known something about right. his, his job. Right. He wasn't like the fifteen year old kid who's just working at Best Buy just to make his fucking, you know his college, so mommy yeah. will keep paying his car insurance. Yep. You know, that old bit. Fine, fuck it. He's a retard, he'll grow up to be a bigger <laughs> retard, but you know what? Right now I'll give it a slide. I won't you know, I, or I won't go to his register. I'll do that. I'll wait in a longer line for a, a fucking adult. Uh, we can help the next person down in line. Nope. We you can, look retarded. You. 
I will not go to you because you go, you're going to inconvenience my world. Because your zits look older than you. You. Uh, that's just. It's just. Like George McFly said, the last thing you need is headaches. <laughs> and that's what I try to do. I try to create headache avoidance in my life. Okay. And I couldn't believe this. the guy was fucking calling me a liar. Mm -hmm. He's like, that, that's not, we're, not, we're not doing that. I go, yes, you are. He goes, no, no, no. Well, I'm going to make some calls. So he gets on the fucking phone. Make some calls. Who are you going to call? First of all, you call if you call any of these numbers, you're going to sit in fucking automated hell for the next half an hour. Of course. So as he's on the phone... I swear he was faking the call because he was he just looked like he was sleeping. Some other guy comes over. Can I help you, sir? So fuck you. I'm, I'm going to this guy. Maybe he knows what the yeah. fuck is up. So I go to him. Same thing. I never heard of that. I go, okay, you two put your fucking moron heads together. I'm going to go over here. Take my phone. I pull up their app. I show it to him. Oh, maybe it's an online thing. Pull up the website. Show it to him. Oh, it could be online. I go over to the goddamn <laughs> rack with their fucking flyers, open it up, and say, here is your fucking in-store promotion. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 45 motherfucking minutes. Then you'll never get back. I'm sitting there with these two fucking dummies. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally. And they never call the manager. Never, well, because you 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 think you think the manager's the most intelligent one. No, in but bunch? at least they have a code that you can override shit. <laughs> so I finally got my fucking coupons. Then I started my fuck, and that ruined my fucking day. Yeah, because now it's just I'm fucking infuriated by their fucking stupidity. But this was, of course, this is back in October. Oh, this oh, was oh, even last so this night. Even... That was a separate oh, incident. I no. was just painting the picture for how they never know about their promotions. Well, yeah, every, and this happens every time. That was of, that was just the worst of it. Most Usually, of the times with those guys, it's just they get to work. It's like, oh, by the way, we're doing this. They don't no, even and say that. Everyone Come just on now. glazes over and Come whatever. They 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 learn about it the first time somebody brings it up to them. A customer brings it up to them, and this happens every time. I walk in and drop the DVDs, like the upgrade and save coupon. Hmm. Hmm. Most of the time, they'll go try to figure it out themselves. Mo that was just the worst of the incidents. Right. The, uh, the guy was basically saying I was lying. I was making this up. Yeah, and you don't, you don't want to be called a liar by a Best Buy employee? Uh, I just don't have the time. I don't have the time. <laughs> I really don't. I don't have the time or the energy to deal with fucking stupidity. I'm what? not scamming anybody here. I'm looking to fucking pay for the goddamn oh, shit I'm we buying. Don't, we don't know that. If I was a Best Buy employee, I'd think you'd be scamming me. Oh, it would be a genius fucking scam. Here, <laughs> let me give you more money. <laughs> you fucking assholes. Yeah. So last night, I go in. I was going to get three fucking DVDs. That's all I wanted, three fucking DVDs. Hand it to them. We're After, already already with that like deflated like yeah, here we go. I already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so I go in. The guy was very nice. He kind of knew what it was talking about. Mm -hmm. Went in the back for a couple seconds, figured it out, got the coupons. Okay, fine. Not bad. Not so bad. You're 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 almost he was a C average. You're, you're yeah. You're feeling you're feeling good about yourself just a little bit. He was a C average. I right. went over, found the movies I wanted. Like I said, I had already done my research. I knew what I wanted to get. Mm -hmm. Found my movies. Went up to the counter. Now all hell breaks loose. <laughs> oh, 300 pounds of sass and a weave is fucking sitting at the uh -oh. goddamn register. Uh -oh. Holy shit. How, wait, how long were the fingernails? Oh, please. Fucking Freddy <laughs> Krueger was jealous. <laughs> so I hand her my fucking DVDs. I'm just hoping everything scans appropriately. Yeah, of course. They don't. They, they get the gringo uh, rang in at uh, $19.99 mm -hmm. as opposed to $9.99. Mm -hmm. So she just keeps going. I go, I'm like, I, that, eh, eh, trying to get, I'm, I'm like, that's wrong. Yeah. Because she wasn't, like, she wasn't paying attention. Was she, was, she knew I was through. doing something, but she was giving me the, psh, like, you're not going to stop my fucking train. <laughs> so, all right. All right. I love the cruise control. Oh. So I'm like, that, that, that's, that rang up wrong. She's looking at me like I'm again lying. You're wrong. Of course by the I way. am. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to scam you. The customer is always right unless it's because it's your money too. There. By yeah. the way, it's your money. Because <laughs> you really taking. care. You're 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 actually Mrs. Best Buy. Thank right. thank you for because your eight dollars an hour is really. Thank you for be allowing affected. me into your world. <laughs> you fucking twat. So, they, I'm like it's wrong. It's supposed to be nine ninety nine. Mark down the four ninety nine with the coupon. 
And she's looking at me like, she's like, well, it's not. <laughs> that was what she said. Well, well it's, it's not. not. <laughs> I go, I look at her, I go, well, can you get somebody to, to fix this? Yeah. Ugh. And Because that's a big inconvenience because she, she's probably got something to do that night. Yeah, You're absolutely. holding her up. Absolutely. She's going the, back and yeah. watching Honey Boo Boo. She has to fucking park her ass for the half an hour until the next customer comes up. <laughs> so. Stopping at McDonald's. She, call, she, calls, uh, she calls somebody over. Peppy little customer service guy oh, comes oh. over. He's like, oh, what's happening? I'm like, this is wrong and wrong. He goes, oh, oh. All right, well. And she pulls it up. And she's like, uh, oh, oh, between... But before he came over, yeah. I had already had their fucking app, and I fucking pulled up the Best Buy app, found Get the Gringo, found nine ninety nine, and I showed it to her. I go, "Does this help?" Uh, basically, yeah. again, looks at it like looks looks at a fucking smartphone as if I just handed her a hot dog. <laughs> Actually, no, because she'd probably have a delicious smile on her face. <laughs> but she looked. It was like so. A, it'd, be, it'd be more like a like a, a foreign uh, object. Uh, yeah, like a like I handed uh, her a hammer. A Jenny Craig weight loss thing. <laughs> Basically, yeah. So she's looking at it, and yeah, she's right. like, "She's like, oh, the, the different skews." Okay. Not explain. I'm like, the different skews. Okay, fine. So the guy comes over, and he's looking at it, and she's like, "This one here says 19.99. This says 9.99. He's saying it's supposed to be 9.99. Now, mind you, the fucking sign on the rack that I took it off of said 9.99. Also." <laughs> He's looking at it, and he's like, so what's the difference? She goes, I don't know. Different SKUs. He goes, okay, well, let's just give it to, give it to him for nine ninety nine. She goes, because they're different. Like, she started just being difficult at yeah, this point. Yeah, Because they're different. He goes, okay, well, does it say we have any more on the shelf? She, lo she looks in the computer. She says, there's one in stock. He goes, oh, is it, in, is it like the action section? Now, I'm guessing he was looking at the box, and there's a picture of Mel Gibson shooting a gun and put action together. She goes, I don't know that. And I look at him, I go, let me help you. It's in the action section. This was the last one. He goes, oh, okay, I'll go. And she goes, well, why don't you go look for another one out there to him? So he runs off. Now, I don't want to call her stupid, but she just said that there's one in stock. Yeah. I'm holding one that's in stock. Well, I mean, yeah, I can see where someone might get One confused. in stock, one in my hand. Right. What well, the fuck is he going to go out there and find? Well, you should be working at Best Buy. Holy you don't need shit. math. shit. So he comes back. He goes, that. there's none out there. I go, yeah, because yeah, it's right here. Yeah. He goes, oh, okay. And again, a sea of dumb found faith because we're all looking at her to just get a couple of fucking keystrokes. Because you know, you know, he went, he went just to you know calm to her down, to appease her, to yes. appease her, because he knows how fucking just stupid she Absolutely. is right now. Absolutely, just to appease her. And we're just looking at her like, just fucking change the price. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, it's different. Isn't he a manager? No, no, he wasn't. Oh, he, he was wasn't. just, he was, was just a guy. literally, he was the guy. That she called because she didn't want to move her fat ass from around the register and go actually out to the, to the store and look. He was a fucking runner, is basically what it was. He was actually a, a fucking cashier at the other register who she mm -hmm. got to stop ringing in people mm -hmm. because her, like I said, didn't want to move her fucking fat ass. God, I fucking hate her. So, then the manager comes over because no, <laughs> because... <laughs> She's not budging. Right. With well, a forklift, well, she wasn't budging. The immovable object. Oh, my God. So the manager comes over and right away looks down and goes, oh, get the gringo. Great movie. I go, yeah, we'll be when the price is right. <laughs> That's exactly what I said to him. Good line. And he and he's like, he's like, oh, so okay. What's going on? I go, it's ringing up 19. It's supposed to be nine. Mm -hmm. And he looks at it and he's like, well, what's the difference? She goes, the cover's different. Cover is different. It was a different picture on the cover, but it's the same. Literally, the, that was it. It's a. It's that's the that's Gringo Blu-ray DVD so, combo So the pack. whole skew thing, the whole there was nothing to that. It was just no. It, it was, was just, different. It was a different skew number, okay. which I'm guessing indicates that it's a different cover. I don't know what the difference was. The cover. I didn't really give a shit at that point because now, again, I wanted to get home and eat dinner. You're fucking up my world. This is what you're doing. <laughs> This was an easy process, okay? <laughs> Even with mm, the price error, right. it's still an easy process to fix. She was just being difficult because she didn't want to be wrong. Of course. Even though it was the computer that was wrong. But of course, <laughs> whatever. Fuck her. So, 
the manager looks at her and goes, so you're going to change the price? This is the manager now looking at her, like call, basically calling her stupid. Right. Are you going to change the price? She's like, but it's different cover. He goes, change the And he just, he, he had clearly, clearly this wasn't the first incident with her. Because mm, mm, sure. he just basically sh- did one of those shake your head, move aside dummy, and starts fucking clacking on the keyboard, changes the price. I just think, I think of Jimmy Fallon's character on Saturday Night Live, the, the, the tech guy. The IT guy. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, Move. Basically the same fucking thing. <laughs> but, oh, so. <laughs> so much frustration Oh, hatred. my God. It, it's just, it's it's dealing with stupidity like this. And it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary that I had to go through this bullshit. I'm just imagining that scene in Scanners. Oh, my head explodes? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that same fucking feeling. So, he changes the price. I thank him. Right. He walks away. Now she rings in. She rings it back in. Nine ninety nine. Hits the fucking coup. Scans the three coupons, and uh, oh god. And the coupon didn't no go. Didn't didn't affect get the gringo. No. And I and I'm looking at her, and she she goes, all right, that that'll, that'll be. And she gives me the price. I th- she said uh, that'll be tw- twenty dollars and change. I'm like, well, no, it's supposed to be fifteen. I go, they're supposed to be $5 each. I got three nine ninety nine movies with yeah. $5 coupons. Yeah. It's supposed to be $15. Yeah. She goes, yeah, the coupon didn't go for Get the Gringo. And I'm, and that was that's what she said, and she stopped talking and stared at me. And I look back at her. I go, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> oh, my because, God. Because oh, basically no. the statement she gave me, the coupon <laughs> didn't go for And she was willing to, to allow me to pay $20. Basically what she was saying is, we, I want you to give me an extra $5 because I'm fucking retarded. Right. And I am too fucking lazy to figure out this problem. I know there's a problem. She mm-hmm. recognized that the coupon didn't scan for the movie it was supposed to scan for. Recognized there was a problem. Was too fucking stupid and lazy to try to fix the problem. Instead wants me to now pay her five extra dollars well, that because could go- she's a fucking dumb Cunt. Well, that could go towards her next set of nails. Oh, I, I fucking I should have broke one of them Maybe off and weave. just fucking stabbed her in the throat. <laughs> Done the fucking world a favor. Ugh. So I'm looking at her. I'm like, what are you gonna do? And she's staring at me. Ugh. And starts so fucking aggravatedly typing into. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry for making you do your fucking job. You fucking idiot. Type it in there and don't give me your fucking shit. You fucking bitch. I'm so glad. Oh my God. And this is all what's going on in my head, by the way. All of this rage that I'm now unleashing on all of you right. was exactly what was happening, but I couldn't do anything because I just wanted to get the fuck out of there as quietly as possible because I knew if I said anything sarcastic at her, it would start a whole fucking world because she was that type. You know that type that I'm fucking talking about. She's the... F- oh. So, again... Ugh, I couldn't get it done. Got to call the manager back over. <laughs> Him says the fucking cre- the coupon ain't scared. Oh, you- I didn't say shit. You fucked up. Again, trying to turn it on me. Yeah. Like, I'm fucking doing something Again, wrong. Not and I even said, that was one of the things I almost, I, I, I kind of started to say. I'm like, I'm not trying to cause a problem. I'm just not paying any more than I have to. Mm-hmm. And she's like, looking at me like, like, basically, she wanted to say, what do you think? I'm the problem? Mm. Yes! <laughs> you are my problem right now. Right now, in five minutes, I won't fucking worry about you. But right now, you're causing me to be late for fucking dinner. I'm hungry. This is the problem. Now, I know <laughs> that me being hungry isn't a fucking world issue, but the fact that I should have been out of there 20 minutes earlier, but I got to do a fucking stupid <laughs> is the problem. This is the problem. I'm so glad I avoided people this week. Holy shit. So, <laughs> manager fucking, and again, calmly. Mm-hmm. Get away. Go away. We, we understand that words and numbers make you uncomfortable, <laughs> dummy. Let me punch this in. Fixes it. Rings me up. I fucking pay. I leave. Driving home thinking about fucking retard she is. Oh, how precious. Oh! Fucking gave me goddamn heartburn all night, this <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> Ah, uh, so oh. she so she finally got her revenge. So I in fucking the end. Uh, uh, so of course, uh, like you said, you saw it on Facebook. I also tweeted it, and and tagged uh, Best Buy. Their 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 Twitter is at Best Buy. It's yeah. pretty simple to yeah. fucking figure out. So at about I don't know one two o'clock in the morning, 
I get a reply from uh, Best Buy customer service. Sorry to he- I posted the same thing I posted on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hate it when something. It was basically. It wasn't. It wasn't like it anything wasn't, bad. I, w- I would curse. I-, I basically said I hate it when people have no clue about their job and try to blame me for it. Right. Something along those lines. Or, and I said Best Buy train your staff better. Something like that. Well, and I got a reply on Twitter saying, um, "I'm sorry to hear that. What was the problem?" And for about three hours, I was trying to fit it all into one tweet with 140 characters. That's impossible. And I couldn't do it. So what I'm going to do is just send them a link to this and say, listen to the first 10 minutes. <laughs> that should clear up any any questions because I can't fit it into 140 characters. What a big, dumb, fucking cunt she was. Hi, Best Buy. And ruined. How are you? Ruined my fucking night. I've never had a problem with you guys. I, you know what? And that's the thing. I normally never do, except when this fucking thing happens. And like I said, aside from that one thing in, in October where I was called a liar for 45 minutes, mm-hmm. and this instant right here, it's normally just a mild inconvenience that's solved by somebody who recognizes that they don't know what this is and goes and asks for help. There's no fucking harm in asking someone for help if you don't know what there is. Mm Mm-hmm. Just and that's it. I mean, I, I'm sorry. You're not, you know, or just not, have not to a fucking. I remember I used to work in a goddamn restaurant, and if we had a special running that day, there was a pre-shift meeting, and they would say, "Here's today's special." Right. They would go over it. Right. They would make sure there was no questions. That's all there is. If you're running a fucking promotion at a goddamn store, you simply have a pre-shift meeting. And say, here's this week's promotion. Mm-hmm. This is what we're going to do. When somebody brings in a DVD, you give them a coupon. They'll go to the register. When you're at the register and somebody hands you a DVD with the coupon, da, 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 da. Yeah. Step by step. Dummy proof it. <sighs> Seriously. Yeah. That's all you're going to do is but fucking work, you, idiot proof you know, it. You're working at Best Buy. The normal, everyday customer that's you walking in why there. People, you wonder why these stores are closing, by the way. Yeah. It's because nobody <laughs> wants to deal with the bullshit that goes on. That's Everything why, they'd like rather said, go shop online. If I online. had a little bit more patience and yeah. I could wait for shipping, I would have done it online. Yeah. But I don't like waiting for shipping. I wanted to watch the fucking movie last night, and that was the fucking thing. But you've thing. already seen Gringo. And it's on Netflix. <sighs> I, know. I know. So really, I think you're getting aggravated for no reason. No, because I want to own the fucking thing. <laughs> I have a collection of a thousand movies. You don't think I want to own this movie that I enjoy watching and yeah. want to watch it at my own leisure? Yeah, you could go. And watch you it, could still do that on Netflix. Wa- watch it and on, technically, uh, you own your subscription in Netflix, so technically, you already own the movie. So really, your anger was all for naught. No, it wasn't. Because I, I you, still I no, think, because it was still two I other think, movies I had to deal with her on. Look, I just think you wanted to go out and yell at someone. I see. That's just it. Though. I think I you were just. I think you were just looking for material for show I was number just ten. Prep. That's that's what I do. I try to anger myself throughout the week, yeah. so I have show prep. So well, I can, because so I can appara- come to the table apparently something. people like it when we yell about things. So, uh, so I guess next week, I guess I have to go and get mad at something. Seriously, kick a bum or something. I don't know. Well, that ju- that would make me happy. Yeah, but then he fights back. <laughs> no, I I try to kick like a one legged one or something <laughs> the- that he that he couldn't chase me. Kick the cane out from under him. Yeah. Yeah. Steal his leg. Yeah, something good like that. They punch a puppy. Aww. Why do you have to punch a puppy? Come, why'd Aww. you have to take it like you know, that puppy didn't do it. That, it's not Aww. like a puppy was gonna <laughs> screw up your coupons. Isn't that the worst sound in movies? What the awe? No no no. The the the, the, the yelp, kicking of, the a yelp dog? of a dog. <laughs> that that painful <laughs> yelp of a dog. I always said there was there was two things um, I think it's the same one though, isn't it? It's like a Wilhelm scream. If you wanted if you wanted to um to really solidify a villain in a movie, oh, yeah. there is two very easy ways to do it. He either kills a baby on screen or a dog. I don't think I've ever seen him kill a baby. Uh, you don't watch my movies. I do. <laughs> I don't think those things are legal in the sure country. Sure you do. There's been... There's baby been, killers? Sure. In movies. I'd have to think really hard, but... Well, well episode 11 is going to be all about baby but killers. like I said, if you wanted to hammer home a villain, that would right. be one way to do it. Oh, totally. Or a dog. Because that that yelp sound, that painful yelp of a dog, just pulls at your fucking heart. So then, in in a way, I guess Darth Vader wouldn't have really been a villain. Well, Darth I mean, Vader I know wasn't he has, a villain. He was just a confused. I know, I know. He was man confused. who got turned into a robot. Well, then neither was uh, the Emperor. I didn't see any puppy kicking. No baby killing. Uh 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 uh. He sent Anakin 
to kill all the little Jedi's. That, those don't count. What? They're not. They're not children. They do not. No, they don't count. You're gonna. You're gonna say this in light of Sandy Hook. No, the prequels. <laughs> you asshole. You <laughs> son of a bitch. He went and slayed a school of Jedi's in a prequel that doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. I'm not gonna get nerd rage over here, but still, that doesn't count. Those prequels don't count. We're talking People about the don't first count year. in that movie, so that whole thing is irrelevant. Oh, yeah, I can't believe you brought that up. That's terrible. That's well, awful. I had to win the argument somehow. Well, you, but again, that's I'm making the, you shed uh, light on that. <laughs> but again, that's 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 being a villain right there. Exactly. You are an asshole. Exactly. And you are a villain, and I win. <laughs> Let's can't win. Like Wesley Snipes says, always bet on black. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, man. that was a Passenger the, 57 quote, and yes, yeah, it's a great fucking movie. Yeah, but still, betting on black and from a from a guy who's currently spending time in jail. Yeah, well. I know, I'm, if I bet on Wesley Snipes, I think I would have lost all my money. No. You'd, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, unless, I, unless I'm, like, betting on him for cigarettes... And it's like, hey, I got plenty of cigarettes and, you know, maybe a toothbrush that's shaped like a shiv. Mm -hmm. You know, I got that that going for me, which is nice. Or, or like a rolled, up, a rolled up uh, towel with bologna inside. Do you think people fuck with him in jail because he's, like, done action movies and shit? Oh, I'm sure he's challenged quite uh, quite a few times and in the like, shower. They fucking punk him out and call him Blade and shit while they're <laughs> fucking his ass. <laughs> I really like the scout. No, wait, what was it? What was the one with him and De Niro? Fuck it. Oh, the fan. The fan. Yeah. See, the scout was Brendan Fraser. Fraser. <laughs> and Albert Brooks. And Albert Brooks. Oh, yeah, baby. White men can't jump, but they can fuck your ass. Ooh. <laughs> I'll be your Woody. <laughs> oh, man. That's terrible. Oh, but thank you for uh, allowing me that, that moment. To... Well, you know, because I don't want you to blow up on an I overnight need. or something. I mean, sc screaming at myself in traffic just makes me look insane. But when I have a microphone in front of me, somehow it's okay. Well, I hate I hate doing it. In, <laughs> somehow in... it's called content. I hate, <laughs> I hate screaming in traffic, though. And then when you forget that you have your window open because it's a really nice day. And Anytime. so someone's like looking at you like... What the fuck? Like, Anytime you see some, you, you stop for a moment, look beside you, and see somebody staring at this insane person losing their shit in their car. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, always fun. Because it's either, it's either they're losing their shit in their car or for some, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, they got a Bluetooth. So it's okay. I think maybe I should just get a Bluetooth just so I look like I'm yelling at someone on the phone. But really, I'm just screaming about the jackass in front of me. <laughs> what the fuck? Why don't you merge? Oh, he must be on a very important call. See, that, ah! see, that's that's when if I see them staring at me, that's when I look at them and start doing the slash the throat thing. Like you, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking kill you. Oh yeah, motherfucker. that's really good. There you go. Well, that's... see, you gotta enter, you gotta bring it back to entertaining yourself. If you can't have fun with yourself, well, you do that in the, the privacy of your own home or in the car. That's you know. You know don't, I don't judge think, me. I don't think truck drivers really don't judge want to be seeing that. Come on now. Hey, if they. If if they want to look, they gotta pay. All right. If they want to look, give me one get, of those honks. <laughs> if they gotta, if they want to look, they ask you to pull over to a truck stop. Oh, the lizards! <laughs> gotta drain the lizard if you know what I mean. You I've been up for thirty six uh, hours. That sunny episode with Tom Sizemore playing yes. the trucker. Oh, what a perfect oh, casting! Let you, let you split me like a two by four. Oh. Let you split me like a coconut. A coconut. Yes. <laughs> That's so. It was so very disturbing. Hey, lizards. <laughs> It was so very disturbing. And it's like, you kind of, a part of you kind of steps back and goes, Tom Sizemore, I don't think is acting in this part. He's kind of goofy like I, that, yeah. I think this is really him. And he Probably really Tom, wants Tom to Sizemore bang to Charlie Day. Greatest fucking, uh, have you seen his sex tape, first of all? No. Okay. Why do I want to see it? Well, that's like, that's like, and I had to do it just because it's funny, but that's mm. like, that's like seriously wanting to go out and watch Hulk Hogan sex tape. Like, I don't really want to see things. that. It's a curiosity factor more than anything else. But he Me. still holds to this date. Well, the fact that I have seen it, I can make the next statement, which okay. is he still has the best fucking cum scene out of all the sex tapes. Where he, it's like the most angry, violent, when, he, when he's when he's coming, he gets this, he just goes, oh, you motherfucker! Oh my God. It is the... Most hilarious thing you'll ever quite, see. Quite the and it's uh, Tom Sizemore, and, and you know those are quite the vinegar strokes he's got going. Very much, yes. 
Oof. Yes. Wow. It's uh, but you know, but that that makes complete sense, especially after watching uh, uh, Natural Born Killers. Mm. I think that's the the reason why he played such a great role is because I think that's him in real life. Yeah. He's just sick and twisted and demented and. And he was in Saving Private Ryan, so I guess it's okay because he served our country. He did a lot of really great movies. Just, he's just it's amazing like, what drugs will do to somebody. Oh yeah. Amazing. He's they crazy. turn him into Iron Man. <laughs> See what drugs do? See that, See, kids? kids? <laughs> you drop out of school, do a copious amounts of drugs, and, and you, you can be a successful multimillionaire Iron Man. <laughs> Maybe one day you can be Iron Man. Yeah. Or you could be... Lohan. Gene. Uh, yeah, you could. Uh, well, there's, you always, I, I saw, there's always two different sides. I didn't of the read tale. the story, but I saw the headline that apparently her dad is saying that that she's like escorting herself to make extra cash. <laughs> I don't. I, it, I didn't I, see it. I, I, that's, I just saw the headline. It's really fucking shitty. Well, it's well. Wasn't she supposed to be in the Lovelace? Movie. She was. She, got, she dropped. got. She got uh, dropped. What the um, fuck's her name? Sig- Siegfried. Siegfried. Yeah, Amanda Siegfried. She's Siegfried. doing that one now. Um, and now she's maybe, got maybe no one told her that she was dropped from the movie. Well, <laughs> she's, she's like still like I'm. I'm. I'm doing this. I'm. I'm. I'm researching my role right now. And, Method uh, actress. The one she did do. The movie she did do. Um, the with uh, the porn star. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, but, uh, apparently it has <laughs> no distributors, or and it's getting like no fucking buzz for anything so the producers have thought to leak the uh the four-way gangbang on her that leaked that scene to the internet to try to garner up was some that, money is that was that for real like did that or heard, was that a uh, fake fuck, i don't know no i i mean because i mean technically that's releasing a the big sex deal tape. the big deal is, is is she's fully nude in, in a lot of the movie mm-hmm. but i don't believe it was real sex freckles freckles everywhere and not a drop to drink <laughs> Yes, but no, I, I don't believe it was actual sex. I just think it was uh, a lot of nakedness. It's like one of them a lot uh, of skin flapping about. Yeah, but um, I don't, I don't see that as uh, I just don't see a as... great marketing move because most people only are interested in that movie for that one scene anyway. So if you release it, on oh online, yeah, I see. What's what the fucking point? Well, you just fake it and say, it hey, there's, like, there's going to be more to it. It would have been like uh, if they released the uh, the Billy Bob Halle Berry scene from Monsters Ball to garner that. It's like. That's a great two and a half minutes, but the rest of the movie is just fucking depressing. But she won an Oscar for that movie. Yeah, did she? It's because she I, faked it in how, that scene. How, how bullshit must the producers of Swordfish have been? Because oh, yeah, because they, they had to pay, what, 500 grand for, for, each, her, for her nude scene. But was it, yeah, but it wasn't even nude. It was just it was topless. But but wasn't it like, didn't it break down to like, uh, like, uh, was it was it five hundred grand? grand. It was so was it a basically two fifty and two fifty a tit? And that was one of the things. And they were making That's jokes funny. about it the whole time. And then she goes and does Monsters Ball for fucking peanuts because yep. it was an indie flick. She didn't get like but her she regular rate. But she wasn't naked in that. Yeah, she was very naked. No, I didn't. In Monsters Ball? Oh, maybe I just I saw. I pulled the brief. goddamn scene on nah, the internet. Nah, I'm good. But I, I mean, it, it was. Yeah, she was very naked in that. I thought no, I thought it was just like a hike up the skirt type no, deal. No, no, it, it was it was rip the top off, show the cunny. It was very naked. She showed the cunny. Oh yeah. Getting um, well, how much did that cost? Getting rammed in the shitter by Billy Bob. Where was that dick before that? <laughs> I don't know, but there was a birdcage in that oh, fucking scene for some reason. Know. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. And it wasn't an Angie. It wasn't no, an no. Angie. It was like. But um, but no, I was, mean that was an independent was, flick. It wasn't like she got. She must have gotten a lot of money for it. Because mm. it wasn't. You know, it wasn't the budget of a of a swordfish. True. But like, how bullshit must they have been? It's like we just paid her five hundred grand to show her fucking tits for two and a half minutes. Not well, two and a half seconds. Excuse well, me. She probably looked at the script for swordfish and goes, "Well, this is a piece of shit." <laughs> Come on. So I'm going to get really like Swordfish. That was an awful movie. <laughs> oh, my God. Travolta, shut up. And but then, he froze himself and, and then, he had a body double or some such shit. And then shit. Hugh Jackman was just crap. Everyone, pretty much, you only made that movie with the uh, only one, the only reason was, was very cool. It was it was it was trying to be too cool for itself. Everything was very stylized. But the only reason and, anyone went for that movie again was to see Halle Berry's tits. It's the That's only reason. Well, so, so I guess the and money then of was course, worth it. And then, of course, what do you do? You go, go ahead and put it on, like, uh, actual television stations. Computer is terrible. Stop it. Actual television it stations went ahead and picked up that movie to show, and it's like you can't even show the scene that everyone wants to see. Yeah. I mean, uh, whatever. 
Ah, it's okay. She could take advantage of those guys for that one. Why not? If they're going to spend the money, why not get it? But the low hand thing, I mean, really, we're just, isn't anyone just, everyone just kind of hanging on and just waiting for her to die? Is that Lindsay really Lohan? what? Is that really what Lohan is now? Yeah. She's kind of like Amy Winehouse. What Amy Winehouse was? Yeah, I mean, you're just kind of waiting for that one inevitable of those things thing. That you would you would hope that uh, you would hope. Well, I've always said that the problem is 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 these in and out jail things. I just saw the movie In and Out this morning. <laughs> it was on. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> it's the it's the in in jail for 20 minute bit. Yeah. You know, you go to court. You go up, you get processed, you take your mugshot, and yeah. you're and you're escorted right back out. The the reason I think that uh, that Robert Downey became cl- so clean is because point, he actually stayed in jail. That's just it. Yeah. He was dropped in a hole for a few years. Right. If she was just able to be taken off the grid completely, forced forced into you know prison, it works so well for Paris Hilton. Same thing. Oh, was she in and out in fucking 20 minutes? And and then she was back in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. Same fucking thing. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. <laughs> yes. But I, I just, I wholeheartedly believe that um, if she was if she was dropped in that hole for a couple of years. Other than someone w- dropping something in her hole. Waka, waka. <laughs> she would absolutely have a better, at least a better chance. I'm not saying it would work. But at least a better chance. Well, you know, actually sticking to punishments. Because she was is never, something that should be happening in this country anyway. She was never anyway, a terrible but. actress until the last. Herbie, you know, unloaded. Stop it! Everybody makes a paycheck. All right, fucking. Oh, I'm actually watching this right now. Yeah, you are. Is this gonna be like a two girls one cup thing? I'm gonna have my reaction to this video. To I, the yes, the the Halle Berry I Billy Bob Thornton sex scene from Monsters Ball, which I've actually already seen, but. Well, you know, Billy's got some moves here. Good old Billy Bob. Oh, he's going for the shirt first. Which is, you know, it's quite romantic, even though I know I can't hear the audio right now, but all you hear is, make me feel good. Make me feel good. Oh, yeah, the birdcage. Why the birdcage? Oh, yeah, she's, yep. Yeah, okay. So she is topless there. I see that. Sort of. Well, this is interesting. I've never actually done a play-by-play for for pornography. I wish we had the internet sound somewhere. Oh, it is. You really want to hear this right now? I don't think we could because the microphones are on. We need headphones. Oh, that's that's very true. Make me feel good. Oh yeah, this was just after. Uh, isn't this after Raph Diddy died? Yeah, yeah, I think so. This is very um, interesting. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a final thrust right there. Yeah. God, uh, Billy Bob is just not an attractive ha- human being. No, and I don't get why people <laughs> think he is. He just looks like a. He looks like a bum that they gave a second chance to. <laughs> you know, he just doesn't have a golden voice. Doesn't doesn't really have the acting chops either. No, he doesn't. Uh, you know what it was? Sling Blade. Oh, totally. It was brilliant. It's it's that. Well, Sling Blade and and I mean, really, the only other th- thing of greatness that he did. Why is it still on right now? Okay, I'm done. I told it. you. Um, How pissed would you be if you were a producer of Swordfish? It's and this I came didn't know, out. Okay, I didn't know it went for this long. Yeah. Holy shit. This is fucking really It's like long. a three minutes of screen time, which if you're watching it with your mother is very uncomfortable. <laughs> Mom. Oh, uh, but Halle Berry won an Academy Award for it. It must be a good... Oh, my God! Uh, well, you know. What are they doing with that bird? Now, okay, who's got the better uh, orgasm? Halle Berry. Is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> She's on top now. Just... Who's got the better orgasm? Her or uh, Meg Griffith? And uh, I mean, not Meg Griffith. Um... God, what is Meg name? Griffin from Family Guy? No, no. Uh, Melanie Griffith? No, uh, the other broad, Harry Met Sally. Oh, oh, uh, Meg who's, Ryan. Who's got the better one, Meg Ryan or Halle Berry? Well, well hers isn't very loud, I don't believe. No, I know. Like I said, we we, we should, probably should have thought this ahead and brought headphones in, but yeah, but, <laughs> but hey, it. it's just that it's it's that really, it's not the thing is. With, with uh, a lot of <laughs> a lot of movie sex, mm. is it's not awkward enough. This is. This is, but still, this is a lot more tasteful than normal sex. Is it? Yeah. Uh, is it? I mean, it starts out and it's like. I mean, he's awkward. running in the back door, not even knocking, babe. Well, come on now. Well, you know. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> At that, you know, he's really the the really sad thing is he's preying on a woman who. 
she's, you know what she, made this she lost a lot. Of, you know, she, this Peter is this Boyle is, sitting in the corner watching. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like Harpo, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's the vinegar strokes. Mm, Still going, huh? Delish. Yes. Why? Why is it God. still on? I can't. But it's like it's like being at a bar, <laughs> you know, and the TV's flashing. Like I have to keep watching it. Like. That's one of those. Scenes Billy Bob, that, of course, that, has his hands right on her ass for the entire time. Well, because wouldn't why you? wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. She, I think she's got a better ass than if she does a rack. Yeah. But, you know, that's just me. I'm an ass guy. But, um... What a yeah, decrepit old man he is. Is it still going? Yes, it's still going! <laughs> <laughs> now, mind you, for, for those of you listening at home, I know this is very entertaining, but I, I have the computer screen. I'm looking at the back of it, so... Oh, I'm, and it is over! All I'm seeing Brought is Brought to you by... Sax. S-A-X. Sax, Sax, Sax. Well, I want to thank Sax for that portion of our show. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sure everyone was still listening. And let's see. It, now, if you like that... You can watch Angelina Jolie from Original Sin, uh -huh. uh, Helen Hunt in oh, The Sessions, pass. another full nude scene, pass. Mary Louise Parker topless sex scene from something, pass. Uh, Billy Piper nude sex scene. Oh, Billy Piper? Who's that? That's Doctor Who. Sorry, that's my okay. nerdist um, getting in the see. way. My nerdiness is getting away the Unfaithful my Unfaithful sex scene, Diane Lane? And then you can rewatch the Halle Berry <laughs> Bust as well. Just in case you thought you missed something. If you really liked it, watch it again. Oh, you can watch it on HD. Ooh. That'd be very nice. Ooh, because, you know, that's what I want to see right now. You can feel the bird flutter. Apparently, Halle, <laughs> Halle Berry also did a masturbation scene in bed. <laughs> oh, my God. There's just so much, so much. It's Wow, this is all just Halle Berry here. Oh, there, there's the swordfish one. Uh, all right. So there we go. Enjoyable, isn't it? Second time around? No. Second, come on. Like, I've only, I've only seen it one like, other like time. That's not dialed up on a monthly basis. No. Just to revisit. No, I'd rather just watch regular porn. <sighs> What's the point? The stories suck the point? nowadays. I don't even have to watch the stories. St Besides, <laughs> when you watch porn on the internet, mm -hmm. how much do you really watch? You watch the first five seconds, and then it's like, eh, let's see what else is in there. And then you click ahead to like, That's because like the, the, three minutes later, and then it's like, ah, it's okay, they're still on the blowjob. And then you just go like past like another. There's just no and then creativity you, anymore. You, you got to have a good story, man. There was never a good story in porn. There's always Come a good story. Shut up. It's always, it's always, well, hello there, doctor. Well, hello there, nurse. And then it's like, blah, blah, blah. Well, like, same old shit. The cable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the cable guy, the pizza guy, the doctor, the lawyer, uh, the teacher, um, the uh, 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 psychiatrist. And it's all the same thing. It's always, all those old ones are always just always the uh, the male and then the as the protagonist and the female as like the submissive one. Or you got the older, attractive mom that you get to bang. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The, the, uh, well, come on, you know, I'm, I'm the Mrs. Robinson stuff. Yeah, mom yeah. Bit. yeah, no, I'm Donnie's best friend though. Well, he doesn't have to know. And then it's like, bam, 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 bam. Or as my, See, girl, or as my girlfriend likes to say, brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> it's like, it's they, like they really? They don't do the music anymore either though. They don't even really utilize no, 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 that no, so the, much. The best ones are like the really tasteful, like, because like they just, ele no, the, the really tasteful, elegant mm. music that's like playing harps, and it's like like really nice, and like they're all getting undressed, and it's like oh, it's very nice, it's very Skinamax like, and then all of a sudden the music just cuts out, and it's like it's just like ah uh, ah uh, uh, oh, you suck that. It's uh, like oh my god, where what happened to Beethoven? <laughs> like what? what were we just hearing harpsichord? It's like uh, with the, the opening scene to American Pie when the parents yes. walk in. Oh, look at my hairy ass. What yeah, was that? What was that? What was that? Ah, oh, he's fine. Oh, don't worry. Let's just go. Let's just go outside. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Oh man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's uh, the one cool thing that um, I really enjoy about Dave's old porn. Mm. I mean, I really enjoy it because David tells on it, and it's a great show. But it's a very funny show. Like, you mixed Mystery Science Theater three thousand with watching porn with the porn Seven, stars that are in there. Eighties po porn with yeah. With, I mean, he's got he's got other like n nowadays porn stars, current porn stars watching mm. it as well. But like, you know, when you when you have Dave sitting there with like uh, uh, 
uh, Ron Jeremy or like Peter North and then uh, one of the girls that's in there like a um, uh, Asia Carrera or sure. something and they're just sitting there watching it and then you know Ron Jeremy's like dick is supposed to be on the screen but you just see Dave's face yep. on like the couch and they're just like critiquing it like uh like like watching a high school football it's, game or it's something. like how it's like uh, the uh, the rewatchability factor of having an audio commentary track on your DVD oh it's so it's just so funny it just it just adds that because if you go back the only thing I remember about old porn movies is like really bad mustaches, uh, a lot of hair, a lot of hair, um, grainy footage, and uh, let's go with glasses. Like for some reason, like there's a lot of glasses in there. Like the guys, like they look like Howard Stern in you know in Private Parts when he's okay. got the short hair and the mustache. The I don't know, or like a weird Al Yankovic glasses. They all look like that. Those guys, it's like, how are these guys getting laid? And like, <laughs> I'm not. I look way better than that guy. Oh wait. And then they take their pants off. Then they take their hey. pants off. And I don't have one of those. But then they keep their black <laughs> Good socks for you. on. And it's like, oh okay. Oh well, of course that's why he's getting laid because he's dressed like a Roman. <laughs> because this makes so much sense. What oh. the fuck? It's all messed up. It's weird. It's like uh, I re I rewatched recently the. Um, the Sopranos, the entire series, yeah, and that scene where uh, where Tony's dreaming that he's in Italy with uh, with the fucking it was in I think season two or three, and uh, he's having hallucinations mm -hmm. of a foreign exchange student in the yeah. neighbor's backyard, yep. and then there's that one dream sequence where he's in the Roman soldier uniform fucking around the balcony, <laughs> and he's just he's grotesquely large. Yes, he is very. And it's big. just all you can hear is the metal clanking about as he. Uh. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. Watching Gandolfini eat and fuck in TV is just an endurance test. He's just, all you hear it's is just, just a, it's just a constant. Of, like, it's just a constant, it's just a constant thing of, all right, when do I turn this off? When do I turn this off? When do I turn this? <laughs> Thank God for this storyline because otherwise I just, oh, okay, all right, I've, I've had enough. Well, like, it's, it's great the, that in the, the earlier seasons they had great writing because those would be very short scenes. Right, but the, Later surpri on, the surprising like, thing is that that, you know, maybe if if that show had been around now, mm. with DVR and, and it's and it's uh, and it's you Can know, you rewatch it more height, times. No, <laughs> you certainly would be skipping over anything that Gandolfini was eating or or fucking at that time. <laughs> and sometimes he was doing it at the same time. Yes, which is very disturbing. It's always good. Which is actually how I think he, in real life. Come on, if you if you Although, have the means. Isn't it strange? Isn't it strange that I think two different movies that he's been in, he's played gay roles. Which ones? Uh, the Mexican with I Brad seen Pitt. I have in a long and, time. Um, I watched it once. Yeah, and then, Julia and Robinson. And then a uh, uh, more recent one that I can't really remember because as soon as I make a point, uh, anything that I was trying to make was just, just escapes my head. Sure. So I'm done. I'm trying to think what, what he's been in recently. Was it... Um, I didn't see the uh, the Kill Him Softly one. It or Killing Him been. Softly, what, is that what it was called? It might have been, yeah, something like With that. With Brad Pitt playing the hitman. I, I haven't seen that one yet, but I know he's in it. Yeah. Um, I want to say he did another gay role, though. But, I mean, again, it was just like basically his character yeah, says like, he's it's, gay. It's Gandolfini. It's kind of like what we were talking well, about off also, air about, about De Niro uh, getting nominated for the uh, <laughs> Silver Lion Playbook. He's playing De Niro. Yeah. Gandolfini pretty much just plays he's Gandolfini. Plays, he plays, you know, he's, he's Tony Soprano. It's all The only real acting choice is whether or not he grows a beard or not. <laughs> Yeah. You know? No, you're right. That's why it's like when he was doing The Sopranos, if you noticed, every movie role he took, he had a beard. Yeah. It was kind of yeah. like, I'm not playing Tony Soprano. See, I have a beard. I've got a beard and I talk a little bit gruffer. Great acting choice. You're a genius. Oh, yeah. Hey, not everyone can be a winner. I Come know. On. They all can't be me. Well, <laughs> anyway. Hey, I, I, I've, I've made severe acting choices sometimes. Oh, is that so? It is. It is actually. Um, You're just there, waiting for that that right movie. There was there was there was one one movie I was uh -huh. playing an extra in uh -huh. where I chose not to wear a hat. Really? Yeah, I felt the character wouldn't have a hat. It wouldn't. It just it just wouldn't be in his uh, repertoire. Thug number two right. would not have a hat. You weren't head thug though. No, I was not head no. thug. You, you you weren't you weren't ready to go on, get on the cast. I wasn't. I wasn't a thug. leader of the thug pack. Right. right. 
the thug life. Thug li- oh, you t- you totally white because you got. I know you got that wrong. I'm white and I know you got I actually, that wrong. Actually, instead of thug life, I got thug number two tattooed across my abs. <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually pretty funny. <laughs> for that for that one extra role, and I was cut out of the movie anyway. Well, you know, happens but again. Thanks to fucking De Niro. Oh, don't blame De Niro I am gonna on blame that. De Niro. Don't blame De Niro. Why? Because because, because he quit. thug number two is going to be your fucking call. It was. It was the breakout role I needed to, uh-huh. to get out of this life of poverty. Did you Did you have Did you have a line? No. Oh no, I didn't need one. Did you get hit? I spoke with my eyes. Did you get hit at all? Were no, you hitting I, anyone? No, I, I just sat there and looked you mean. Just, you just sat there and looked mean. I sat in the back, out of focus, looking uh-huh. mean. Oh, oh, that would have. Wow. I'm sure. I can had, hear the I'm offers sure had rolling the scene in. Made the film. Those three frames uh-huh. of, of a second I would have uh-huh. been in would have been awesome. Uh, actually, you know, maybe maybe uh, you would have been uh, Tarantino's next Christopher uh, Christoph Waltz. Waltz. Yeah. I would have been because he, as we I all know, been. he was he was actually, doing German actually, TV I, I and movies. That, I have that in writing. He right. he, he saw He's, those he saw those he saw those scenes on the and said, cutting room floor. If you were yeah. in it, yeah. if you were in it, I, I could have made you, something yeah. out of you. You could have been in Django. He, he used a lot of you his hands been, and talked a lot like this. You could like, have if been, you were in it, man. You see, you, see, you see what I'm saying, man? If you were in it, <laughs> if you were in it, I would have made something out of you. But because you were in it, I had to go with Christoph Waltz. See, I would have been the the the, the Jew hunter in uh, Inglorious right, Bastards. Right. That, that was going to be my thing. You would have totally taken that part from Eli Roth. No, you, he's the bear Jew. The Jew hunter oh, the was Jew Christoph hun- Waltz. Oh, you would have been a Jew hunter. Yeah, yes, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Oh. And and having having Who German knows, you heritage. Could have, you could have actually. You could you know, have actually being a German been, name. I right. would have fit right in with the cast. Right. Do you speak German? Uh, I can learn. You can learn. Scheiser. Mm. It, it, that, 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 oh, that's again, we're I going got. back to porn. Well, when we were when I when I was in Germany, yeah. our mission was Wrong. to go into every adult uh-huh. bookstore and ask for it. Scheiser videos. Oh yeah, really? We were thrown out of every adult bookstore in Germany. I would I would hope so. Because you know those Germans, they got a lot of res- lo- lo- level of respect they like to keep. No, it's just they don't like drunken Americans stumbling through their shop breaking their their stand ups. I don't even like drunken Americans. Period. <laughs> a bunch of cardboard stand ups are grabbing and trying to fuck it. <laughs> you are a disturbing individual. Oh, uh, what are you gonna do? I was you know, on my, that I was is, on my you know ninth what, you know day what, because, of a bender. <laughs> because you were doing that back then. That mm. is why you have to deal with people at Best Buy the oh, way you do. Oh, that's my karma paying oh, me back. Oh, it is karma it's big time. Penance. Coming back all the way in a full fucking circle. Like, like it was, you, what it did was, that karma, it took it that long. Like, when did you go to Germany? 2004, I think. So, 2004. Yeah. So, it has taken exactly eight years, nine years to go, to circumnavigate <sighs> the globe. I was told it would be math. And now it is back. <laughs> it is finally back. My to, karma's paying me back to for... To bite you in the ass. Yeah. And, yeah. and that and that karma has a weave. <laughs> and some sass. Oh, fortune what you mean this is and wrong? Sass. What you mean this is wrong? Him said this was wrong. Oh God, I couldn't believe she said that, too. Him. I couldn't believe she said that. <laughs> that's like a I'm mad, like, that's uh, like a mad TV seriously, sketch. Seriously, it's like you couldn't fit the stereotype anymore <sighs> and when people say well that's a stereotype motherfucker they come from somewhere yeah yeah they don't we don't just make this shit up no it's there not there are people in the world it's not out of like thin this. air <laughs> i know it's just and it, it's just that you just say that to the wrong people because you know they don't want to be lumped in with those people oh exactly, exactly. And, and that goes for any stereotype anyone yeah. out there but of course you don't want to be lumped, you know i don't Nobody i don't want to be lumped, lumped in with in hipsters but hip, that's not really a bad Stereotype, but, but again, I look like but all of them. But you are who you are, so you can't do much about I'm the, it. I'm the Haley Salise of hipsters. <laughs> I don't get that reference. Haley Salise uh, uh, was the guy that uh, Rastafarianism is built around. I thought it was Bob Molly. No, Haley Salise. <laughs> <laughs> Haley Salise was uh, was uh, the king of or a ruler of Ethiopia, and they. They thought, was thought he was. Thing. He. They thought he was this, the Jamaicans thought he was the second coming of Jesus Christ. He thought he was Jesus Christ incar- Why didn't they reincarnated. Pick the wrong guy? They had Bob Molly right there. I know. But anyway, What's up with that? he. Okay, Hurricane. He. Uh, <laughs> he. He didn't want to be a part of the Rastas at all. Mm-hmm. Didn't just disown him. Didn't, didn't think he was. He did eventually go to Jamaica, but he didn't want to be. Uh, when you go where the money in there. is, I well, absolutely. If they're gonna worship me over here, and they're I gonna treat me like over shit over way. here, I'm gonna go over here. So that's what I am. I am the I am the Haley Salise of hipsters because I don't want to be a hipster, but you I guess probably I probably up the Bob Marley of hipsters because nobody gets Haley Salise. No, but but still, people. If like, you didn't you know, know that, I would have to Google that later tonight and be very angry at you for making me do that. 
because I would actually read the story on Wikipedia and be the, like, God damn it, that's funny, a the funniest fucking thing, story. The funniest thing about the Bob Marley thing yeah. is, uh, you know, the the big college thing is uh, the Che Guevara shirts and the Che Guevara. Go on. You you know the Che Guevara the shirt with, with is that the, a brand? No, he was a he was a. Is that a person? Yes, he was a revolutionist in the Cuba Revolution. I wasn't there for that. I know you weren't, but you've seen the shirts. Sure, I'm sure I have. The Che Guevara shirts that people usually wear. Oh, Che! Like, che! Oh, 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 That's I thought what... you were saying Chanko. No, Che, you know Che, uh, fucking Benicio Del Toro. Uh, yes, I know yes. Che, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people have gone in, like, I used to work at Newberry Comics. Yes, and uh, Makes And sense. guys would, t- <laughs> guys, <laughs> my friends who would work there would tell me that people would come in, and it's like, you know, college kids going in, and it's like a Scarface poster or something. That's what they of want. Course. Or they want, they want uh, you know, the stereotypical... Uh, uh, Fear and loathing poster, or uh, you know, oh, I need something that's deep and like you know, prophetic and really means something. So I'm gonna get Starry Night, you know, like like those types of things, or like MC Escher, like mm-hmm. like those those normal everyday, mm-hmm. or like you get the Bob Marley poster, sure, People, the Belushi College poster, yeah. Belushi College, Everybody perfect, has it. perfect example. My buddy had that in his fucking dorm room. Everybody has that one. The other one is, people would go in and say. You know, someone would have like a the Che Guevara poster or something hanging up, and there's Che displayed. I mean, one of the more recognizable faces in right. in, and someone goes, "Oh, who's who's it's that?" It's like the Andre right? the Giant poster. Tor- uh, the home. Obey. Yeah, uh, the Andre Obey. the Giant has a posse. Yeah. Um, you know, someone's like, "Oh, hey, you know who that is, right?" Bob Marley. Yeah, man, it's Bob Marley. We gotta get this. It's a Bob Marley poster. Oh, oh, they think Che where Guevara. Story is going? This, that's where this is going. Yes. <laughs> They were Jesus thinking. Christ. I mean, these are people that that's that's the wrong people. That's these are people that have do, that have gotten further in education than I have. Yes, <laughs> this is the problem. Well, you know, because they got the money for it. Of course, or they daddy's do. got the money for it. But either way, you do. know, they got. Or they just had the patience to deal with the man telling them what to do. Oh god. See, I don't have the patience for the man telling yeah. me what to do. I got to get off the path and go down my own way, and that's why I am making no money. <laughs> no, you got to get off the path because you, there's no because, money on the path, you, by the way. Because you, there's <laughs> no money over here. You stay stay on the road because there's no money on the path. What are you talking about? I went on the road. I was on the road. I wound up here. I bet you had health insurance on the road. What? I bet you had health insurance on the road. I did. Yeah, exactly. There's no health insurance anymore. It's gone. There's no health insurance on the path. (laughs) There's health insurance on the road. But for some reason, on the road, somehow led into the path, and now I'm on the path. How do I get to the the path? The road is full of depression and misery. So we're actually happy with what we're doing. Am I? Well. Are you happy? Well, I like Are what I happy? do. I like what I do. So do I. I do like my job. I do too. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so so yeah, stay on the road. Stay on the road. Stay and, on the road. And with that, I guess uh, that would probably bring a wrap to episode ten. No? Is it? I don't know. Oh. How much time have we been going for? I didn't even talk about the Mark Wahlberg party. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> see, what, see, see. Let, let me pick that name up. I just dropped. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You just left something here. <laughs> just left that name on the table. Why not? Um, I mean, if it were me, I would have said Donnie Wahlberg. Donnie wasn't there. Oh. It was. It was. Donnie what, was. What does he have to do Donnie these days? Donnie was one of the there. eighty-seven Wal- Wahlbergs that was not there. Oh, there was uh, more the than night. There's more than two. You know damn well the <laughs> Irish Catholics just breed like fucking rabbits. <laughs> I just love the Family Guy reference. It's like the, <laughs> the woman, the Irish woman, praying, and then she falls back, and a baby falls yeah, the out. Ba- the baby falls out. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I forgot was, about um, the Wahlberg party. Uh, yeah, it was premiere party for uh broken city his new movie with is Russell, that the one with Russell the rock Crow. no that's pain and gain pain and gain that's coming out in april and uh it'd be really nice if uh, the rock showed up to Wahlburgers in april but i think he's got a little uh show he's got to do in new york doesn't he oh yeah yeah he's got that thing small thing but he can take a little thing he can take a night off can yeah probably it's probably gonna be like a tuesday night or something so rock put it in your schedule i know you listen <laughs> especially after we blasted your twitter fucking a couple weeks ago <laughs> But yeah, so uh, we were at the Broken City premiere party. Uh, it was very fun. Didn't see the movie because we were setting up. Oh, uh, we oh, were... so they they had the premiere there. Well, they had yeah they they had it these. Uh, it's out in at Wahlburgers, which is, is at the small, Hingham Shipyard. Is it a small premiere? It's not I mean, like it's a, it's a regular, you know, a few hundred people. Okay, you know, a few hundred. And people. what he just does it for the hometown crowd. Yeah, it's um, a lot of it's it's kind of like a family thing. Um, but yeah, it was. It's it's always the Wahlbergs are a very nice party. They do mm. good food, mm-hmm. free booze, mm. 
Well, I, that's all you're going to do to mingling for, about occasionally. That's all you, you need for an Irish bump party. bump into somebody such as you know as Mark, since we're on a first name basis. Oh, are you now? Yes, of course. Oh, does he does he recognize you from your Facebook photo? No, not photo? at all. Not no. at all. No, 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 no. He. Uh, no, it's it's always fun. That's one of the things when when you when you I, I never know what to say to people like this when you meet them because it's always such a fleeting meeting thing, you know, where you're meet where you're. I hope you don't rhyme when you talk. No, to I, I try not to, and I, I hate myself for just doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, but whenever you bump into like a celebrity, mm. you never really know what to say because I I'm not the one that likes to go all fanboy. I really liked you in that movie. And, and it was like, well, yeah, the Chris course. Farley character. Of course. You don't want to yeah. be that guy. Remember when? Remember when you were in Boogie Nights? That was awesome. That was awesome. That was, that was awesome. Hey, remember when you, you took your pants off in Boogie Nights but and your dick was really big? <laughs> Is it really that big? <laughs> that was that's awesome. awesome. But that's what you're thinking. I mean, it's it's like, you're like, yeah, Dirk Diggler is standing right next to me. That's pretty fucking cool. But, um... Did you, did you ask him... Uh, I don't say. I don't really did, say did shit. You, did you ask him what his opinion was on if the big hit was his favorite movie that he ever made? It's an excellent one. I love that movie. You you can't argue with. Uh, I really do love that movie with the the acting chops of Lou Diamond, Diamond Phillips. Phillips. <laughs> yes, I knew. You knew where I was going with that. The man was excellent in that movie. That that was one of those. He was like I, he was like La Bamba on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> he was or no, he'd be La Bamba on PCP because he was shooting basically people and he, he people. was what would happen if La Bamba lived and gone into hip-hop yeah that's exactly yeah. what it is with the little the with, little stash and the, everything the pencil thin oh fucking my John god Waters mustache oh he was talking he was, all fucking hip-hop he was, and shit got a he, rough you know you, he, baby he looked like he looked like they really wanted john leguizamo for that movie and they couldn't get him true well, let's see why not I, on, i'm now. sure leguizamo wasn't doing much <laughs> at that time wasn't that what, what was the pest like 96 yeah that was, I think that was probably 93, the big hit. No, it was 98. Really? I just looked you it just up. You just IMDb'd it. Yeah. Um, that was one of those time capsule movies, though, for me, because it's a very 90s movie. Oh, my the God. The clothing, the look, the uh, the music, the, the way people talk in it, it's such a 90s movie, and it's almost, it's sad that it is because it's almost hard to watch if you ever have to watch yeah, it Yeah, it's now. completely dated. It's like, wow, that's well, fucking 90s. Well, instead of, instead of watching that movie, you just watch... Of course uh, it's 90s. It has Bo Keen Woodbine in it. Yeah. What's but, he done since but, it, but, instead, but instead of watching that movie, you just watch The Transporter, because it's the same fucking yeah. movie. Yeah. Except there's no, uh, you know, Jewish girlfriend uh, thing w- that they did. Again, the, ju- the Jewish great uh, scene, the, the, the parents. That, awesome. that dinner scene... Awesome. ...where the dad is sneaking fucking and, rum the whole movie. And wasn't it... Um, Christine Applegate. No, 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 I know that, but uh, no, the father was uh, Elliot Gould. Elliot Gould. Yes, Elliot who's Gould. Like, who is like who? Who is like you know basically when you want when and you the want, mother was when, that mother. Yes, but but exactly. But what I'm gonna say is, Elliot Gould is basically when you want a tough looking Mexican, you get Danny Trejo. Mm-hmm. When you want a Jewish guy, you get Elliot Gould. You want in Hollywood, an, an older Jewish guy. Yeah, Elliot Gould. Elliot Gould. Yeah, it's. I mean, talk about typecasting. You know, I mean, th- and they went right for it with uh, American History X. They yep. went right for it with he was in Friends. They Ocean's he was 11. in uh, Ocean's Eleven and the Ocean's franchise. I mean, mm-hmm. so yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. But yeah, I just I just got completely taken off because we just started talking about the big hit, and that's a good <laughs> how can you not? So uh, so you're talking to Mark. You know, uh, of course, you're good I was. buddy. Yeah, did you yeah. exchange phone numbers? Yes. Uh, yes. He's he's uh, we exchanged phone numbers, emails, uh, now, did and it blood start, types. Did it start off with a five five five? No, it was an eight hundred <laughs> number. <laughs> uh, uh, but no, it's it's always I, I find it always interesting and and mildly awkward to to deal with celebrities. So I try to do I try to say as little as possible and have yeah. as minimal interaction. Uh, which is good when I do things with with Denise because I thought you were gonna say De Niro. No, no, no. Fuck De Niro. Ruin my goddamn acting career. <laughs> um, but when uh, when Denise is working, it's great because I can kind of play second fiddle. Yeah. She she because she's like in all business mode. She's like I'm doing this and this and this and just you know oh and remember I did this thing and this thing and then, and then towards the end, this is my fiance Mike. Hi, how you doing? Pull my hand back 
and sit quietly. And now, and by That's the way, now it's now it's like now it's like it's not like boyfriend Mike. It's like this is my fiance. So Mike. you get the so congratulations. So I get you to get, say you got thank a little you. Bit of this here, and yes. you get you get uh, you get a uh, well. Maybe he's gonna be around for a little bit. Yes. You know what I mean? It's not like boyfriend like. Oh, I really don't have to know his name. I don't really gotta know. I don't, him. I don't have to re- learn that because he could be gone next week. He could be gone. He'd get drunk tonight and, get, and be gone. <laughs> he could ruin this. He could and ruin, be gone. This is it. You know what? I can make him. I can make him infamous right now. Right. <laughs> I could make him disappear <laughs> like that. <laughs> Call me David Copperfield. <laughs> but no, it was a, it was a good time. Uh, they they always they do they they throw a very good party those Wahlbergs and. That's good. Uh, it helps that you know they usually have it in one of their restaurants with really damn good food. I still have to try that place. Wahlburgers. I like a I like a good burger. So. Damn good burgers. You know what though? And it made me think. I and it's not just just them. I think it's all catering companies. I think it's a very inside joke mm-hmm. that catering companies have when they're passing around the hors d'oeuvres and it's like. Uh, chicken fingers. It's always the same thing, right? No, 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 oh. no. Chicken fingers or or sliders or stuff like that. They give you stuff that is going to make your hands a mess. Mm-hmm. You oh, have to see. eat chicken fingers on a bone. Yeah, so yeah. it's got buffalo sauce yep. and shit all over your hands. you got to eat a burger. So all the burger juice yep. is now sliding. You basically, the second you commit to eating off of one of these hors d'oeuvre plates, you are also committing to never shaking anybody else's hand in the rest of the night. And that's when Mark Wahlberg comes in. No when matter how has. many napkins you use, <laughs> you're still sitting like... God damn it! I got burger sauce oh, on my fingers. It's in my fingernails. <laughs> oh, and then you just suck on it for a little bit. You go, oh man, that's some gr- that was great it's barbecue sauce. Though. But you gotta. <laughs> I really think it's an inside joke type of thing with catering probably, companies. Probably. Like watch all these motherfuckers picking their fingers uh, all night long. That's really good. Gr- now I'm now I'm never gonna have uh, hors d'oeuvres you like that. You know what the trick? Only go for the ones with, with the toothpicks. Tooth yep. Mm. Those 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 little hot dogs. I love the little hot dogs. The little rascals. Everybody loves them. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, uh, so that was a uh, that was a better part of the week. That's good. That was that's the better good. part of the week. Of course, uh, I would have liked that to happen after the Best Buy incident because oh, it would have so made it, it, it would have made it. Yeah, that was Tuesday night. We did that, and um, and then Best Buy was last night, and. Uh, it's kind of put a sour note on the end of, on the end of the week, but mm. the Bruins start on Saturday, so, it's, so the week's gonna go up. And I see you already have you got you got your shirt on. I mean, you well, basically you've been wearing. Oh, uh, of course. Well, I you've mean, been wearing Bruins yellow for like the last twelve weeks. Right. But, uh, it was, for for a while, it was in mourning, and then it's in celebration. Fi- finally, it's well, and that's of course it's a, you're in celebration mode because yellow. It's not like it's not like a black Bruin shirt. Right. It's a gold it's a, Bruin it's shirt. It's a gold. It's like right. hey, we're here. It, it's like turn the hat around so back. I go over the top. Right, right, we're, exactly. We're <laughs> over the top right now. But yeah, the, the, the Bruins are back. They uh, they released tickets earlier in the week. Uh, Did you get tickets already? No. Uh, speaking of which, uh-uh. um, the. They released tickets the other day, and um, and we we have a season ticket holder that we, that we go through yeah. if we want tickets because they're better seats and they're cheaper. Mm-hmm. But for shits and giggles, I went on I went online when they were released and uh, just wanted to see what they were. Probably. The prices were insulting. Really, they were insulting. That's too I'll bad. be quite honest. Um, you can't for face value. You can't sit in the balcony for under a hundred dollars. Oh, that's pathetic. It, it's really insulting. And um, the my biggest problem I had was, uh, as as you know, I like to go to see the Bruins play in Montreal yeah. when they have those games. And there's two of them this year. And uh, for the price it would have cost me to go to one game, just the two tickets. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking concessions, parking, any of that shit. Just the two asses in seats yeah. in the garden. The Mick Foley's. Exactly. Um, for that amount of money, I can get two tickets, a hotel for the night, and gas in Montreal. Oh, it's really. I mean, I was I was looking, and I know, and a lot of them were sold out. Like you could barely, get, you couldn't get tickets in the balcony for most of the games. Wow. And it was like, do you think that's just because of the shortened season? <sighs> no, it's because they just didn't lower the prices. They, they've been, they've been on. Well, see, and the. <laughs> Well, I was the just, I was just they, thinking because they're, they're trying to get their money's worth. No, it and has, you only it have really, forty-eight. It really has nothing to do with that. I mean, the the ticket prices have been on the ridiculous side for about three years. The year before they won the cup, they started going up, 
And then well, yeah, once like they I, won the like cup, like I told you, I was gonna of, get I was gonna get yeah. season tickets, and they were like ten bucks or yeah. twenty bucks a um, piece. I think a, f- a few years before they won the cup, I remember talking to some people, and and you could get season ticket full season for like eight hundred bucks or something yeah. like that, which isn't bad, but especially since winning the cup, the ticket prices have just kept going up and up, and and um, it's just like I said, they've been kind of on the ridiculous side for about three years. But the fact that it's like, there's, sh- I, I wasn't one who was like, they owe us something. They got to give us free stuff to mm-hmm. get us back into the, but I felt at least a gesture of maybe like a couple sections of decreased ticket prices, lower ticket prices. Right. Okay. You know, at least a few games, so maybe even select games, you can buy tickets in the balcony for 35 to 50 bucks. Yeah, that's not asking too much. I'm not asking for ten dollars tickets. No, but, but thirty-five same, to fifty bucks is a reasonable price to sit last row in the balcony somewhere. Especially for someone like like the Blues or like a, you know a shit well, the, team. Yeah, the Florida team. Florida for team. Instance. Panthers. Absolutely, would be a perfect game. Or the Islanders would be. A, but you yep. know, but then they're like, well, we got the New York traffic coming. Fuck off. The Islanders aren't really have fans. Sorry, Islanders fans. Uh, <laughs> they're Long Island, Come on. but um, well, they're gonna be Brooklyn in a few years, so. Uh, why does Brooklyn need a fucking like? Okay, give Brooklyn because a Jay Z wants team. to finally stop making music and he just wants to own shit. Well, that's all fine and dandy, he wants but to own like Brooklyn, basically. Well, and he already does, <laughs> but like, give Brooklyn the fucking baseball team back. Don't. What do they need a hockey Baby team steps, for? Man. Baby steps. What do they need a hockey team for? Come on. Because you, because it's gonna go to Quebec if you don't. Give it to Quebec. At least people will go. I would be all for it. I would be all for it. Stupid. But it's uh, it's that uh, you know the Dumb. American entrepreneurs that want to keep the money. Dumb. But um, Dumb. yeah, the um, I think the Bruins gave away for for uh, for the month of January. It was like select free concessions. So I think you get like a soda and maybe like a popcorn or, or a hot dog or something like that. Woohoo! Um, and then twenty five percent off the over, already overpriced. Pro shop. All right. Basically, yeah, when you, when you, when you can just go to Models. Yeah, this, this is, that, <laughs> that's kind of why um, I was never thumping the. They need to give us free stuff. I thought it would be nice if they gave Center Ice the, the TV package for free. Yeah. But I, after reading a little bit, realizing that it's not in their control. It's oh in, really? Because uh, well, because there's, that's th- there's oh, sponsors <laughs> and there's you know TV companies right. that need to get their money. They right. can't just give shit away. Um, they reduced the price, I think, by like forty percent or something. It's like fifty bucks for the the full season. So you basically I you're do paying it. a buck a game. Yeah, uh, they should just do it for roughly twenty bucks. Right, it, and fifty bucks. My, my biggest deal. argument. Uh, and being, is that going to include the playoffs? No, it doesn't. Let's see, and it doesn't include. Well, see, this is that's the other problem. It doesn't include playoffs. C- Center Rice is the out of market package. Yeah, where you can see any out of market game. Right, so you right. can't see your local games on it. Because there's obviously local broadcasts. You right, gotta watch so you, it on Nesson. Right, so you have to. Yeah. Can't watch it on. You can't. They also don't show the national games. Oh really? So if it's so on like NBC he... or NBC Sports, which I think there's like 70 games this year. Yeah, there's a lot this year. Those aren't gonna be shown, and no, and only the first round of the playoffs is is shown. I believe. I believe. I've never actually purchased it, because uh, as an Xfinity customer, they only have one HD game per night. So, if you like, like on a night that you know, let's say there's, there's a night that the Bruins are playing, and then there's some West Coast games mm-hmm. that you would want to watch at ten. If the HD game is a seven o'clock game, you got to watch those West Coast games in standard definition. So basically, it's it, it, you get better quality watching it on the computer than you would on your own giant fucking HD TV. Basically, what you're saying is you've got a shitload of white people problems. Uh, it, it really middle is. Middle class. It is. Boo-hoo. It's middle class problems, but um, but I uh, it's it is what it is. I I I wasn't like I said. I wasn't thumping the give us free stuff yeah, to get us course. back because I realized that the only the only shit that would benefit me if it was discounted or free would be tickets and beer. Mm-hmm. Now, but you, they can't. They can't do all beer. Know they're not going to give beer away. Nope. Whether they wanted to or not especially in Boston after being voted drunkest city in America. There's no way they're giving <laughs> beer away for free. No. Um, and then tickets, if they were going to give a deal, great. 
if not mm-hmm. eh, a well. Um, but yeah, it was just, like I said, it just felt kind of like, it was real sticker shock because they're coming out of the lockout. I think if it was a normal season, right. I would have looked at it like, eh, that's normal prices. That's what. That's just. That's the way of the world. They're not. I'm not saying they're great prices. They're they're terrible prices, but it's the way of the world. It's the yeah. way it's going to go. You just have to accept it. You can by all means not buy the tickets. That's your right as a human being but to s- not purchase those tickets. But someone else will buy them. But that's just it. Somebody's going to buy them. They're not going to go down just because you want to play Spartacus and try to lead a revolution. And I'm not going to buy tickets. Nobody buy tickets. Somebody's going to go buy them. Absolutely. So you got to accept the fact that you can sit at your home like I'm going to do on Saturday night. I like it better that way. Box anyway. of beers. I, I enjoy. I enjoy going to to the game. Just got live, a brand, but I just got a brand new couch. I got a giant HD TV that you continually just take pictures of. And of post course on I do. Facebook. It's beautiful. It's a work of art on my wall. It is not Fuck a you. work of art. It is. It is. Sometimes not. it is. Depends on what I'm watching. Not, yeah, mainly fucking snuff films and Bruins well, games and Halle Berry sex scenes. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> and the gringo. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's it's definitely made it easier for me to not buy tickets. Yeah. Like when I when I was at my old place and I had my, my much smaller non-HD TV, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I'd really rather be at the game because watching it's kind of like, uh, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not great. I'd rather be at the game. Now I'm like, it's fucking beautiful. Yeah, you got it. I mean, thing. You, and I've seen the pictures of your TV. It's a wide TV. It's a big TV. Yeah, it's I, it's, it's fifty five inches. Yeah, so anything. I got fifty five inches. Set up the fucking seven speaker surround sound. Anything got the over subwoofer, anything the over fifty inches shakes. for a TV for a, for a hockey game is perfect. It's wonderful. And I, like I said, I just this past month just got a brand new couch. It's fucking wonderful. I have my. My world is okay See, in kids, my world. Hey, you know what, kids? Sometimes getting on the path, it's all right. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes the path. Well, it depends on what you want out of the path. See, I got the simple things in life. I mm-hmm. like my TV. I like my couch. Yep. And I like my beer cold. It doesn't have to be expensive either. And your hockey on. And my hockey on. That's the path I want to be on. <laughs> okay? The the road wasn't allowing me to, to watch every hockey game live. And my overnight's plentiful. Yeah, yeah, I love those. <laughs> my sleep varies. <laughs> my sleep varied, and my Best Buy altercations at a minimum. Yeah, I just, that's the thing. My, my, my world is perfect when I'm in my world. Mm-hmm. When I step outside of my world into the real world, shit just gets fucked up. Well, that's, really quickly. You didn't you didn't realize that when you watched the real world on MTV? Really quick. Oh, really? Shit turns real. Got real. Yo, True yo, story. Yo, it's real <laughs> over here. True story. <laughs> so yeah, that's. Uh, I agree with you on the whole thing. I probably will not be able to attend a game this year. No, we got. It's fine. I will be. Uh, I'll be watching them at home. Yeah, that's uh, drinking. <laughs> you know what? If you don't want for anything, fuck them. Well, that's how this is gonna be. <laughs> Great way. We're just gonna end with fuck them. <laughs> Great way to end the fucking show. Number ten. <laughs> Number ten. Wow. Well, it started off great. At least we came out with a bang. Uh, we started off with you screaming, and then we ended with you saying fuck them. <laughs> well, like you said, people tend to like it when we scream. So, but hey, it's real, babe. That's is real life. Real life. This is what it's all about. This is. Real. It's true story. True story. You had no idea. True story. This is the diary of Mike and Billy. <laughs> yes, it is indeed. Well, thank you very much for listening in. To of course, this once week's again, show. ten episodes we've made it. Thank you all for listening once again. Uh, don't and forget to uh, subscribe to the Spreaker channel. Download the app for your Android or iPhone, so you can take us with you. Uh, like our Facebook page, which is uh, Facebook.com Mike and Billy Show, and uh, we now have a Twitter page, which I activated. Uh, which is, uh, I believe it's Twitter, I believe it's at Mike and Billy. But, you know. I'll look at check, it. Check that up. But, uh, yeah, I activated it this past weekend when I live tweeted the Golden Globes <laughs> off for, with the Mike and Billy show t- Twitter page. And I uh, got, got got mixed reviews, I got to say. Mixed reviews. Mixed reviews. Uh, of, of course, there came a point where Jodie Foster did her bit. 
and uh, and she was uh, talking about Mel Gibson. She was sitting next to Mel Gibson, and people really tend to hate it when I defend Mel Gibson. Oh yes, I, I am aware of that. No, and and it's and and they they tend to blend the Mel's problems. See, I defend him on the uh, the the released tapes of him yelling at his his chick. Yes. Not the religious shit, because that's I, I I don't I don't run down the religious or political path. But when when those tapes were released, I completely defended him because who who hasn't? If you've been in a toxic relationship, you've been where he's been. Okay. End of story. End of story. I don't want to hear nothing about it. So stop talking about it. Okay, then we will. <laughs> uh, the Twitter is at Mike and Billy. At Mike and Billy. Okay, that's our Twitter page. Uh, so go and uh, follow along for all the uh, the fun-loving activities that we do over there. Fun um, activities. And just, yeah, keep listening. Yeah. Tell your friends. Speaking of telling your friends, yeah. I, I, we have to tell all of our friends to also listen to uh, on Spreaker. Spreaker. Uh, STS Radio, our buddy, uh, our buddy Andrew here. Who, uh, who surprisingly, I didn't know, gave us a shout out on his show last week. Well, thankfully you were listening. And I guess he's been I'm doing it for to... a while, and I've just been a, a dick. And oh, now I, well, yeah, but you know what? God, I'm such an asshole. I'm worst friend. Oh, so you knew about this? No, I had no idea. But I feel even worse because I had, I had no idea. Apparently, you know that I he's been to, saying it more. I listened to his last show, and, and, at, and at the end, he he gave us a. Gave us a plug, so uh, absolutely go check out his his podcast over on Spreaker. STS Radio, STS correct? Radio. Uh, it's a uh, very funny guys maybe, over there. Maybe we'll do a, 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 a STS versus Mike and Billy. We're gonna do a. Like, I think we should do a run down. in. Find out where they broadcast. We're gonna do a run in. <laughs> it's like steel chair, the motherfuckers. It's like down in fucking Providence. Oh, forget it. Forget it. He, can, he can run into our show. <laughs> he knows who we are. He knows. Yeah, we're, we're using his computer to do this, <laughs> <laughs> so he can come and do a run in on our show. But absolutely, he is more than welcome. So STS Radio, check uh, it check out. It give out. him a follow. Give him a listen. It's uh, it's some good stuff. And over we there. might have we might have some special guests coming in soon. Hopefully. Uh, and also maybe you know maybe around the eleventh episode. What we'll, next uh, week? Okay, maybe around the twelfth episode. <laughs> We'll get some actual production in here. Oh, that, yeah, that's song. my job that I keep being lazy about. I, yeah, but I, I'm not helping out too much. I don't have much. any time on the overnight to do well, it. Okay, so we both suck. Yeah, because we're both watching movies. Exactly. We're, we're, and we're producing content for this right. as opposed to producing bum flufferies. Right. We don't need any bum flufferies. <laughs> bum flufferies. We are bum fluffery radio. It's just about the fuck offness of it all. Well, everyone. <laughs> I Thanks. guess we'll end there. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Check you next week. Fuck Bye. off. <laughs>